Okay, so I recently just received this personal message regarding the video that I made a while ago about converting SRT subtitle files and merging them with an AVI file. This question basically says, I was wondering how I can convert slash shrink a video to 700 megabytes using Format Factory, which you mentioned in your video. If you create a video about Format Factory's shrinking method, it would be very grateful. I have an MP4 file which I need to convert to AVI to be used in Virtual Dub. I used Magic Video Converter and it came out to be 1.1 gigabytes, and when I converted it from 699 megabytes MP4 to AVI, which basically means that he had a 699 megabyte MP4 and he converted it to a 1.1 gigabyte AVI. And then I tried Format Factory, but it came out to higher and blah, blah, blah. So could you help me out here is basically what he's saying. So the video he was referring to, as I said before, was the video about taking SRT subtitle files and merging them with AVI video files using virtual dub. And so I was searching around to go ahead and find out how to do this. So what he was asking is how to convert the 1.1 gigabyte AVI to 700 megabytes just for shrinking. And I said you could do something like that with Format Factory. And you can, but it's always harder to work with AVI files is what I found out with my personal experience. So I was going around and I was looking in Format Factory and couldn't find a way to shrink the video files. However, I was able to find something that was even better. I found out that you could just right ahead and you can go right ahead and merge subtitle files with video files through format factory without having to go ahead and do all of this overly complicated stuff that's in this video so this video right here is the uh, overly complicated version of what i'm about to show you now the video i'm about to show you now is uh, completely 100 percent easier so you won't need to convert your 1.1 gigabytes avi down to 699 megabytes again because you can just take that 699 megabyte mp4 and drag that into do what we're about to do so just hold on a second i got the stupid windows thingy okay so here we are and we have format factory and then i have a test recording that i made in a test subtitle file to go along with this test recording you can use any different type of video format it doesn't necessarily have to be avi however i have avi because i just use this screen capture program to make a quick recording so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open a format factory And then I'm going to just go ahead and drag my files in after this window gets out of my way. <laughs> Sorry, there's a lot of unnecessary windows popping up. So let's just drag this up here to make it easier for you guys. So I'm going to drag my recording into Format Factory. And I like to select all to MP4 just because I want my final video to output to MP4. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on settings. And then we're going to choose whatever that we want right here. I'm normally just going to keep the video streams at default so that it matches the default that my actual recording's at so that it won't really change that much in file size. And then we're going to go here to additional subtitle, which I don't know if this is in the newer version of Format Factory because I've never noticed this before. But if we go ahead and expand additional subtitle, as you can see here, it has additional subtitle SRT, ASS, SSA or IDX. So you can use any of those different formats of subtitle files. And if you want to know how the uh, SSA file formats work or any of those other things, you can always just go back to the video that I made before, which doesn't seem to be pulling up right now, but I'll leave a link in the video's description. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to browse for the SS or sorry, SRT file that we made right here. I have my test SRT file. We're going to click open and we're just going to click OK. I'm going to click OK again, and then it will add it to the queue down here. We're going to click on Start, and it will start converting our file. Now, I'm not using a very large file. I'm only using a 3.97 meg file simply because, you know, I want to save time for recording this video. Okay, so now we're done. So we're just going to click on Output Folder, and we'll bring up this. And as you can see here, we have Test Recording, which is 669 or 969K. So we're going to go ahead and launch that up. And once it launches up right here and play it back, you should see that it has the subtitles that I went ahead and embedded into it. And just to go ahead and prove to you, I'm going to launch up the original video file itself. And I'm going to show you that it did not have subtitles in it. As you can see here, no subtitles. And this one does have subtitles. 
And so that should be an overall way easier way of merging your subtitle files with your video files. And you shouldn't have to go ahead and convert all your stuff to AVI like you did in the other file. So that way you can you know, eliminate on your file size. So I know this didn't directly answer your question, but I hope this gave you something that could help you out. And uh, thank you a lot for your question. And uh, if you guys have any suggestions for anything you want to see in future videos, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.